Good morning, students. So today we are going to learn what is linear differential equation and how to solve a linear differential equation in one variable. Okay, one dependent variable, one independent variable. So let us see. So we are going to start with the definition of a linear differential equation. Okay, so what is a linear differential equation? An equation of the form a differential equation, a differential equation of the form, of the form, what is the form here? dy by dx plus p into y is equals to q. Okay, I'll take this as equation number one, where p comma q are Functions of are uh, functions of x alone. Okay, is called a linear differential equation. It's called as a linear differential equation of first order and first degree okay now let us see how to solve this equation okay so what i'll do is i'll take equation number one and multiply both sides of it with e to the power of integral p dx okay so what should i do multiply equation number one with e to the power of integral p dx on both sides comma we get so what are we going to get you can see the equation p dy by dx plus p into y is equals to q is called as a linear differential equation where p and q should be functions of x alone okay now with this equation i'm going to multiply it with e to the power of integral p dx on both sides so i'll multiply e to the power of integral p dx into dy by dx plus again e to the power of integral p dx i have to multiply both the terms into p into y is equal to e to the power of integral p dx into q okay so i just multiplied all the terms now, if you notice the uh, LHS of this equation, it is nothing but d by dx of y into e to the power of integral p dx. Just check, students, is it correct? Now, this is here, I am not changing anything. It is e to the power of integral p dx into q as it is. Now, see here, what will happen if we apply uv rule, first differentiation of y and e to the power of integral p dx as it is. So e to the power of integral p dx into differentiation of y is dy by dx plus uv rule I am applying. Now y into differentiation of e to the power of integral p dx. If, it, if I have e to the power of x, then differentiation of e to the power of x will be e to the power of x. That means instead of x, I have integral p dx. So I'll get e to the power of integral p dx into, because it is not x alone, I have to go for the differentiation of what's there instead of x. So what is there instead of x here? Integral p dx. So I have to go for the differentiation of integral p dx. That means integration and differentiation will get cancelled and I'll get p here because both are opposite functions to each other. Okay. And uv rule you already know. So y into differentiation on this. Okay. So now I'll integrate it on both sides. So hope this point was clear students. Now when I integrate, so integrating on both sides with respect to x I have to integrate. So that integration d by dx of y into e to the power of integral p dx whole dx is equals to integration of e to the power of integral p dx into q dx. I am doing the integration with respect to x. So that's why a dx will be followable. Now, integration is with respect to x. Differentiation is also with respect to x. They both will nullify each other. And I'll remain with y into e to the power of integral p dx is equals to, here I'll remain with integration of e to the power of integral p dx 
into q whole dx. Now this is the solution. Now because I am integrating it indefinitely, I have to add an integrating constant. So plus c. Now this will give you the solution. How? Simply divide the equation later with e to the power of integral p dx. You will get y is equals to a function of x, which will give you the solution for the given linear differential equation. Now, hope it is clear. We will do a problem based on this concept now. Okay, so I'll just conclude this. So, which is the complete solution. Why complete? Because we have already ordered the constant there, integrating constant. So, complete solution of which equation? Equation number one. Right. So, now let us do a problem based on this so that Right, so I'll write the question. Solve y dx minus x dy plus log x dx is equals to a zero. Okay, now this is the question given for you. You have to solve this equation. Okay, using the concept of linear differential equations. So, first I'll write the given equation. So, given equation is y dx minus x dy plus log x dx. Okay, now I have to get dy by dx form. So, for that I'll just divide the equation with dx so that I'll get y minus x dy by dx plus log x is equals to 0. Now, it's not in the form, students. I have to get it into linear differential equation form. So, what is linear differential equation form? dy by dx. The first term is dy by dx. So, I have x here. I'll just send it to the other side. So, what will happen? y plus log x is equals to x into dy by dx. Now, I'll just write it. Okay, I have to divide it with x because dy by dx. When I see the definition, you, I'm scrolling up. See the equation number one now. You have to make the difference uh, coefficient of dy by dx as one here. So the same thing I'll do here. I, I am trying to make the coefficient of dy by dx as one. So for that, I have to divide the equation with x. So I'll get y by x plus log x by x is equals to dy by dx. Okay. Now, I'll just reverse the equation and write so that it is easy for us to understand. So, dy by dx is equals to y by x. Just a minute, ma. Right. So, this is going to be y by x plus log x by x. I have just taken them here and there. LHS becomes RHS, RHS becomes LH. Right. Now, is it in the form of a linear differential equation? No, not yet, because I want it in the form of dy by dx plus p into y is equals to q, where p and q are functions of x. Okay, so I have to bring this y to the other side. See, y term is on the left side. So I'll bring it, so I'll get dy by dx minus y by x is equals to log x by x. Now I think this will make up my linear differential equation. Okay, so when I compare this with the linear differential equation here, so equation number one is a linear differential equation where, huh, now you tell me what is your p going to be? It is a coefficient of y. So what is the coefficient of y? Don't forget to take a minus sign whichever is there, so minus 1 by x and q is equals to log x by x. Okay, now I have to find the solution of this equation. So as already derived, I'll write the solution of the equation. So solution of equation number 1 is given by, given by, okay, so what was the solution? 
can anybody remember what is the solution yes it is equal to y into e to the power of integral p dx is equals to integration of q into e to the power of integral p dx plus c okay i'll take this as equation number 2 i'll first find what is e to the power of integral p dx and then substitute it here and there so i'll find what is integral p dx now that is equals to integration of minus 1 by x dx so what is the integration of minus 1 by x it is equals to minus i'll bring it out integration of 1 by x dx and what is the integration of 1 by x dx it is log x but b log a is log a to the power of b so it will be log of x to the power of minus 1 that means it is log of 1 by x okay therefore what is e to the power of integral p dx equal to it will be e to the power of integral p dx value just now we have found out what is that log of 1 by x so it will be log of 1 by x now e exponential and logarithmic functions are inverse functions to each other they both will get nullified and i'll remain with 1 by x now this is equation number 3 so i am going to use now 3 in 2 so using equation 3 in 2 the value of e to the power of integral p dx i got it from equation 3 which i am going to use it in equation number 2 to get the solution so what is that i will get so y into e to the power of integral p dx value is 1 by x so 1 by x is equals to integral of let's see what was q there q was log x by x so that value we will take q is log x by x into right again e to the power of integral p dx value from equation number 3 is 1 by x dx plus c there has to be an integration dx here okay now we are going to find the solution of it okay i mean integration we will complete the sol uh, solution by integrating the equation okay so now this will be 1 by x is equals to integration of 1 by x square log x dx plus c now for integrating what should i do here i have 1 by x square log x so by parts formula i have to use so for that which one should i take other uh, according to the i let formula i have to take logarithmic uh, function as the first function and then 1 by x square which is an algebraic function as a second function so what is the formula for uh, by parts integration of first function into second function dx what is the formula it is equals to first function sorry yeah it is second function into integration of first function dx plus integ sorry minus there should be a minus here right minus differentiation of second function and then integration of first function dx whole dx now this is the formula by parts formula so integration so that is what i am going to do here so y by x is equals to second function is log x into integration of 1 by x square dx minus integration of differentiation of log x integration of 1 by x square dx and then whole dx plus c hope you understood the formula now that is equals to log x into right x to the power of minus 2 1 by x square is nothing but x to the power of minus 2 so what is the formula i have to apply x to the power of n dx and what is the integration of x to the power of n it is x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 these are the formulas i am using so right so this for according to this formula n is equals to minus 2 when i apply minus 2 x to the power of minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 and minus 2 plus 1 in the denominator again minus 1 so when i simplify i'll get 1 by x you people can check again n put n is equals to minus 2 there because x square is in the denominator when you take it to the numerator it will be x to the power of minus 2 so n value is equals to minus 2 if you put it you will get x to the power of minus 1 by minus 1 which is nothing but minus 1 by x right and now here integration of differentiation of log x we already know it is 1 by x 
integration of 1 by x square just now we do that it is minus 1 by x dx plus c understood now that is equals to minus log x by x this minus and this minus will become plus integration of 1 by x square dx plus c right so this is going to be y by x is equals to minus log x by x just now we have seen the integration of 1 by x square which will be minus 1 by x plus the integrating constant c now y by x is equals to i'll take the lcm here so it will be minus log x minus 1 plus c into x by x so i think we can get cancel x there so that my solution becomes y is equals to minus log x minus 1 plus c into x okay so for convenience i'll make the solution as y is equals to cx minus i took out a minus common log x plus 1 so this simplification part is not needed you can actually leave once you get the once you are done with the integration so hope you are clear now so this is a problem on linear differential equation and how to find the solution thank you all students have a nice day